praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank God tonight. Well, we are counting down the month of February, and I'm trusting God that somebody will be blessed this whole week. I pray that this month was a blessing to you. I want to thank God for all those uh, who want to Zoom nightly, daily. We have over, we have some of these three, four hundred for the week. 300 people on the week on the Zoom coming in, 85, 55, 45, 25, 35, 85 coming in. Because God is doing something as a new and living way. And as we bring this month of February to, to, a, to a standstill, as you can see, is the month of manifestation. Where we where we looking for God to show up. I started in January, I thought about, uh, about the quality of life. Then I come up with the light of life. Then after favor of life. And this week we are talking here now about supernatural increase. Because God is a God of increase. And I know the youths are coming on. Alex George, Rena Pierre, Darby Greg. Coming on this whole week with uh, what God is doing in the, in the realm of the spirit. Where increase is concerned. And God is talking to anybody to anybody. But I want to talk about, I want to narrow, narrow in tonight uh, on God's time of increase. God's time. God is a God of timing. You know, nothing happened before his time. Right through my life, uh, I've been walking with God and nothing happened before his time. And there are times, as Solomon said, I share a couple of weeks ago, a time for everything, a time to live, a time to die, a time to win, a time to lose, a time to give, a time to receive. Nothing happened after them, but I believe through this pandemic time, this pandemic time, there are many children of God has benefit from this pandemic. I am one of them. Not money, because increase, as I said, is not only money. I have benefit with knowledge and uh, and faith and patience. The month of March, uh, which is next next week, next month, is the month of supernatural faith. You know, with, with the faith it takes to <coughs> to live this try and coming days, because God, time of increase, is His time. And I want to just reflect on Moses. Moses. Moses was one of the guys that I really fashioned myself after, Moses. You know, Moses brought people over the Red Sea and, and he brought them over and the promised, go to the promised land. And, but there comes a time Moses realized that he has to depend on God. And, and we in this, in this last and closing days of my life and this dispensation, we have to understand there comes a time we have to depend on God for increase. Not just money, but for the way of life, how to survive the coming events in 2023, 24, 25, trouble times, famine times. And God's plan is to increase his children to the to, to the maximum benefit. That means he will not slow down or change once we are in God's timing. You know, I am building right now and folks say, hey, it's the wrong time to build, but I, I am in God's timing. I build when God tells me to build. So, in Deuteronomy chapter 1, Moses comes to a place now that where he, he has to he has to depend on God. And God said, Moses, talk to them, children. You know? So the Lord spoke to Moses in a place called Horeb. And, and when, when God speaks to you, you have to listen. You know? Because every time God speaks to me, something is coming and he's up to something. Because why? God is looking for people who have increase on their mind. And I've been talking about that this whole week. you got when, when you're serving God, you've got to make sure you have increase on your mind because God is a progressive God. God likes to progress. 
he, he, he progressive. He, he believed that we should be progressive as well. We should also benefit. And we have to always make sure to progress with God, you've got to have increase on your mind. So determine chapter 1, verse 6. Look what God said Moses. Moses said, the Lord our God spake unto us in Horeb, saying, you have dwelt long enough in this, in this month. You have dwelt long enough. Hey, we are going in two years now with the pandemic taking place upon the earth. Two years. Hey, we, we have dwelt in this pandemic thing and this COVID thing long enough. It, it, it's time we understand that God wants to progress his children into a different dispensation called increase. And I believe from here on, from the month of June, July, August, all these months going down, you'll find God say, hey, you have dwelt here long enough. We have been locked down, shut down, mass, joke up, punch up, branded, restricted, in a safe zone, and, and you can't go here, can't go here, lock in your house, stay in your house. We have dwelt there long enough. We, there is no longer, God is no longer interested now in what the world is doing to his children and to his people. You know, so verse 6 says, God says, you have dwelt long enough in this month, in this mess, in this period, in this lockdown, in this can't go here, in this jab and jab and chuck and this and and all kinds of come. You have dwelt here long enough. Verse 7 says, you hear what Moses say? Turn you and take your journey and go to the mount of the land where you live. Am I right? Unto all the place night there, there unto. In the plain. Go, go. In the hills, in the vale, in the south, and by the sea. To the land of the Canaanites, unto the unto Lebanon, the great river, river Euphrates. Freedom. We are talking here. Turn. Take a journey. We it's time we understand a journey is coming for God's people. We has dwelt two years, going in two years, with this pandemic thing and the politicians and the scientists and the, the millionaires and the billionaires and uh, 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 and, and pharma and pharmacies and all these, all these jobs. We have dwelt too long. Turn and take a journey. Go. God said, go, move on. Move on and move out. You know, onto the place. So we are in a place now that we are the timing and the place have to associate. Because God's time have to be in a place. And when you're in God's place, you'll realize that God is taking you on a different journey. I'm on a journey right now. I'm, on, I, I'm trusting God to find the direction that where I know I have dwelt in this pandemic long enough. Verse it says, behold, I've set the land before you. Go in and possess the land which the Lord swear unto your fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, to give unto them to their seed after them. So God has bring us to a place now where we need to be liberalized. We must realize we are, we are set at liberty. I've set before you. So God is taking his people now in a certain place. You know, and at a certain time, and I believe June, July, August, and beyond, we will be in a certain place with God, and the timing will be right. Listen, you know, mark this day down, you know, June, the month of June, God will increase his people. In fact, he start already. 
he don't start to break down walls and move boundaries and you know, behold, I've set the land before you. The land of liberty belongs to us. Go in and possess the land with the Lord swear. God covenant and God promises. The word swear. God promised me. For God I live and for God I will die. God promised me. I will dwell and I will go through this pandemic. My wife and I and all those who believe and follow in me and what I'm saying, applying it. God said, anybody apply, listen to you, Carl, I will bring them to a land. I will set them in a place and they'll go in and possess it. That means we will, be, we will return back now to increase. He said, you know, man, I have set the land before you. Go in and possess the land which the Lord has swear unto your father Jacob. Isaac, Abraham, to give unto them and to their seed. So, after them. So, we are talking here now, the young people that is coming up right now is the seed of the aged one, the one who suffer, the one who plant, we, we, we make so much, we, we make so much preparation, uh, the older ones, the older churches. We has now have to depend on our seed. That's what I'm doing right now. I am looking after young people right now. Try to get them prepared that they have to go to, they have a journey ahead of them. The younger folks have a journey. God has set before them now. Uh, these young boys, young girls, they're on a journey. Right now, they don't know where they're going. Right? They never live in the land where we live called none or evil and sin. We, they never live in the hard times. So God is now trying to increase them. So God's timing for young people is now. It's the young people time. He says, he says, he says, he says, I've set the land before you, going and possess the land, which the Lord swear unto your fathers. I thank God I'm qualified to be a father. And I ain't dead yet. I'm a father. I'm a, I, I'm a overseer. I'm a leader. I'm a person right now that God has entrusted property and land and vision and teaching and principles. He has entrusted to listen to me, for the past 40 years, uh, going in, uh, in April, we make it 40 years that God has entrusted me with knowledge and, uh, and wisdom and food and, 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 and spiritual food. He has trusted me. And he said, uh, he said, uh, he said I have, I have Carl, I have made a cover with you. I will bless your seed. Not just my seed, my children, but those who obey me and who believe that they have dwelt in this thing long enough. Hey, I have set the land before you, Carl. But well, I don't possess the land. He said, but I will give it to, the, to your seed after me. So that's the young people. And I'm trying to alert them. There's a journey coming. Your time, your time, God's time of increase is now. I shared with young people last night. Think big. Don't think in the box like like our like the older folks. The older folks, they fear, you know, we you know we fear the system more than we fear in God. We have, I tell young people, think big. Say, think big. See God as a big God. Don't limit God. Don't put God back in a box. Like what the old, like what, what we older folks do. Think big. Because God wants to bless you big. He wants to increase you big. He wants he want to show you big. We are young people, don't be scared no more. You are to go in and possess the land. Think big. I have set the land before you. Go in and possess it. The land would the Lord swear unto you. Your father called me uh, to give unto them and to their seed after them. And verse 9 says, and I spake unto you at that time. At that time. At that time, said, I am not able to bear you myself alone. Hey. The timing. I have spent these two years with these young people on the Zoom, on the marketplace. I have spent two years and more. Teaching young people, preparing young people, 
And I spake unto you at that time. The time now I share this morning, you no longer want to eat meat and you have not taste of milk. When you reach the milk stage, drink the milk. But there comes a time you need meat to possess the land. I have spoke unto you all at that time, saying, I am not able to take you all in the land alone. The among the older folks that I, I taught, thinking that they'll be qualified to help me move the younger ones. And they're gone. They're gone. They're gone by Caesar. They're gone. They're gone. I teach some old people, some old guys, some old sisters. And they leave me and run and gone. And they leave me with a bunch of young people. <laughs> The best thing God do, God keep the young people because that is the one who have to possess the land. They, I can't possess the land. I have possessed the land. But I cannot carry it further. I, have to, I, ha, I cannot bear it alone, myself alone. The older one, they're tired. They're going to stray. They have not prepared for the attacks that is coming on the young people, but thank God I have the land. I possess the land. God make me live to see the land there for a city that where they'll be able to feed themselves through the through the, the closing and dark coming days. Hey, there's some stuff coming in 2024, 25. We have to prepare ourselves. Preparation is what God is doing right now. But it takes young people. And I speak unto you, verse 9, at the time, at that time. That time is now saying, I am not able to bear you myself alone. And verse 10. The Lord your God has multiplied you. When I first started this Zoom, when I first started this TV program, when I first create podium broadcasting network, some members say I'm mad. They say I, 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 I go in the wrong way. Some leave me. I tell them, I say, something is coming. I say, it's coming very strong. And we will not be able to gather as we want. So God told me to prepare podium broadcasting network. They leave me and run. But they don't understand when they leave, every time one leave, 12 does come. Now we have so much young people right now and a few elderly ones because God's vision will come to pass. Despite you all leave me, you don't believe me, the God will always make reservation and preparation for his vision. Once again. When you don't believe what God is showing this man of God, God will always make a reservation, preparation for those who are coming. Verse 10 says, The Lord your God has multiplied you, and behold, you are at this day as the star of heaven, as the star of heaven for multitude. So God has given me this platform. He has given the young folks this platform. He has given us this platform to edify young people around the world. Podium Broadcasting Network one day will be edifying people around the world because great things start small. Right now we are small. One person says, oh, you don't have much viewers. i not viewers here. I want to let them know. I will speak things to come to being. When it comes to being, they'll pull back the table and say, did the man of God said that? He said that? He said that. The Lord your God has multiplied you, God said. God has multiplied me in this pandemic. Over 7,000 people has passed through Podium Broadcasting Network on a click of a button. We have over 3,000 segments on a click on a button. On a button. The Lord your God has multiplied you. And behold, you are this day as the stars of heaven for multitude. 
for multitude. So that means God is preparing us and this city that we will be able to use this city to speak to thousands of people around the world, right here from the back of a mountain in a place called Pity Valley in Trinidad. But that's vision. That's vision to see far. I know some of you are seeing it right now, but Podium Broadcasting Network will be around for a long time because why God wants us to be like the stars of heaven for multitude. That's why I want to maintain the pure doctrine. The Lord your God has multiplied you. And behold, you are this day as the star of heaven. God is doing what he's doing right now. People might say, oh, you're doing good, I'm doing good. Uh, church, church, church. We are a universal church. We are a universal church. We no longer house God in our building. We will house God in our heart, in our character, in our lifestyle. Which 11 says, The Lord your God of your fathers make you a thousand times so many more as you are. God is about to make Podium Broadcasting Network a thousand times many more as we are. Right now we are small, but I believe that the timing, I said the timing for increase, God's timing for us to increase is now. I say it's now. The Lord your God has multiplied you. The Lord your God of your fathers make you a thousand times. So many more as you are. And bless you as he has promised you. So God is a God of promises. When God told me, he said, Carl, start podium boy, get a network. I thought my sons and my family were the one to really push it. And, and the thing it, but God said, Carl, please just do as you are told. I will make you a thousand times more. By 2030, we will be able to touch thousands around the world. The Lord told me that seven years ago. He said, 2030, Podium Broadcasting Network, one of the fastest internet based TV with information in the world. I said, wow. 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 The Lord God of your fathers make you a thousand times so many more as you are and bless you as he has promised you. God promised me that. Right? Seven years ago, he said, son, I will be with you. When I started, he sent me one girl named Sylvia Joyner from nowhere uh, and she believed in the vision. She believed in what, what I do. Because she understands we are going after a thousand times more. Hey, the Lord God of your fathers make you a thousand times. So many more as you are. And bless you as he has promised. As he has promised. God has kept his promise. I say God has kept his promise. I'm talking about increase here. You know what a thousand times more? That means if we have, if we have two people faithful, and God, that means two thousand more will come. If you have ten faithful, if you have twelve faithful, if you have fifteen faithful, I know I have one faithful, I'm sure. I know I have more than one faithful. My wife with me, my granddaughter with me, I have Alex. I know I have some people who are faithful. And the young, you know, the young, the Lord God of your father make you a thousand times so many more as you are. That was said to me seven years ago. As he has promised you, verse 12, how can I myself bear you cumbrance and your burden and your strife alone? I can't carry all your problems, converts me to problems, eh? all your weight, all your lacks. I can't do it alone. You know, your burden, your strife. I can't do it alone. God has to send help. Help. I need help. I need help. 
I need wisdom help. I need financial help. I need advisory help. I need help because we are going after a thousand times more. I need help. So I am talking here. I shared, I shared about this morning about, you know, about combined, combined increase. Come on, let's work together. We're going to build God's kingdom. How can I myself bear your cumbrances and your burden and your strife alone? Help! And I thank God for the young people. The young people, they come at a time where God is about to increase podium but cut little. Because I always had increase on my mind. I always know that God is a progressive God. I always know that if I stick with God right and I carry increase on my mind, he will increase us. He will keep his promises. He will send me help. He will choose strong ones. And verse 13 says, he said, take you wise men and understanding and know among your people and I will make them rulers over people, over you all, over the marketplace. Take you wise men. The word men mean wise people. <coughs> but I found out that the, the women right now are more available. The men right now are still trying to combat the system. So the word men mean people. Take you wise people and understand it. And know among your people. And I will make them, I will make them. God said, I will make them rule. I will make them rule. I thank God that there are some young folks right now. God will make them rule, make them rule. I, God said, I will make them rule. And God said, once you keep it, uh, and you keep it tight right, and you, and you move, and you understand the timing for increases now. I am saying this right now because seven years ago, the Lord told me, he will increase podium broadcasting network. And I have news for you. He will do it a thousand times more. And he will send me wise people who have understanding and who have all races around the world. Because when they come, they'll have increase on their mind. Because God is a progressive God. Can I be here? Watch out now. I'll be sharing for this whole week. God, timing for increase is now. Much love, much love. God bless you.